As you know, on this channel in the past, I would show off weights for certain Funko sodas when they arrived and managed to find a substantial amount of them by weighing them alone. But you need to know how it's done in order for you to save your money when buying Funko sodas from certain locations. Now, the YouTuber Rock and Row posted a video a while ago about how he went to buy Funko sodas from a retail location. And in the video, he mentioned how the store had 19 Funko soda cans and all of them were loose and not in a sealed case. And if you watch the video, they were all commons. Now, how can you tell if this has been done to the figure you're about to buy? Well, sometimes it depends on the figure itself. Let me explain. For example, glow chases that just have different paint cannot be weighed. Different vinyl material chases such as this Monopoly Man can be weighed because of the different material used. Glitter chases cannot be weighed unless it's a different mold. Slightly different chases just like this one can be weighed. Anytime there's accessories or extra pieces of vinyl that are attached can be weighed. Metallics cannot and repainted ones cannot be weighed either. Funko sodas when shipped from Funko distribution arrive in what's called a sealed inner case. Essentially it's a sealed box with six cans and one of the six is a chase figure. But here's why you need to be careful. Depending on the seller, these inner cases can be opened up and the chase is taken out and the rest of the sealed cans sold as chance at a chase or in a store. And at $15 a can with no chance of a chase is a big rep off, especially from a big retailer. And the same thing can happen from other sellers on eBay or Mercari. Now, here's the example. We have the Green Lantern Funko Soda from NYCC 2022. Both cans are the same, but one is a chase and the other is a common. Now, before release, Funko shows how the mold will look like. And for this figure, it was shown that the Green Lantern would have a different mold with extra vinyl, making the figure weigh more than the common. So, if you weigh them, it's an easy chase find. And many of the Funko Soda chases can be found this way, which is why it's important to take precautions when buying sodas from certain sellers. Whenever purchasing a sealed Funko Soda figure from a third party, ask questions if it's been pulled from an inner case. Personally, what I do is I purchase a full sealed case of six cans that guarantees a chase, record the unboxing videos, weigh the six, find the chase, and sell the other cans as sealed commons on offer up or two friends who just want to come in and then sell the other cans super cheap. Uh, links are in the description for the scale and also the store where I pre-order sealed cases from. All links support the channel. But lately I've been avoiding buying full cases unless it's a soda that might be super hyped and hard to find. If not, sometimes it's better to wait for prices to dip and buy the chase in common from a reseller on Mercari or eBay. You can find some good deals if you're a collector. If you want to open for fun, then Funko Shop, Hot Topic, Box Lunch are great spots to try your hand and finding a random chase. Hopefully this information helps. Like and subscribe for more videos like this, and let me know in the comments any questions you may have. Thanks for watching.